Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Welcome to Super Starcraft Bros. Platinum Thursday. I'm Jay. And I'm... I can hear you. Can you? Wait, can you say that again? What? The, there's I, no I, feedback I, I, from you're, one you're week. Not, you're not coming in. There's no... Don't do that. I we can't, just, I can't. We just fixed the audio. You're breaking up. Stop it. You're, you're... You see this water bottle? Right to the head. <laughs> All right. So... Platinum Thursday. I'm Iron Sparks. I'm Jay. So. This is uh, take two. Yep. Because the audio went trippy on the first take. All right. Well, we uh, didn't have a gold game for you. Because um, there was none. There's no gold this week. There's probably not going to be gold next week either. Gold mines are running out, you know. Might not be any silver or bronze either. Got to find a new one. So if you guys have any uh, bronze, silver, or gold, send it to us at superstarcraftbros at gmail.com. We'd absolutely love to cast it. Or platinum diamond masters or grandmasters. Yeah, we'll take those too because if we don't have anything to cast... Um, there will be no cast. No. Which is sad. And you guys would just miss hearing our lovely voices. I mean, we might have to start like casting Dota. Which I don't think that would go well. I don't think it would go well either. Because like, you don't know the game. I do. Really? Yeah, you go destroy the other thingy. You go down the, the, the paths, and you destroy the thingy. I think it's a little bit more complex than That's that. That's all it really is. Well, all this is, you go kill the guy's thingy. Well, this doesn't have roadways. Sure there are. There's many paths. But there's heroes. But, you know, some maps there are actually roadways. Yes, there are. Metalopolis. Newkirk Precinct. Other ones. All right, well, let's introduce those players. Uh, we got Protoss, we got Zerg. Who are they? Well, on wrong button, Star Station, we have our red Protoss Tor Dark Noob. I think that's just Tor Dark Noob. Clan Tor Dark Noob. And his opponent, the blue Zerg Invader. Zim. <laughs> Alright. That was a like grr. So we have a fact span coming from both of the Forge. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I actually don't know what happened because I wasn't paying attention last first take. Well, this is about as far as we got. I think we were a minute, a minute game time in. But that was us playing with the audio. That was. All right, well, we have a scouting probe going around the Zerg base. And back at Dark Noob's base, we do have a pylon going down to help build off that wall. You know what would be awesome? What? If you had those dark, uh, the... Like the... the what's it called? They were the special zealots. Where, yeah. are, they, where are they from? Uh, Taldarine? Taldarine. Yeah. Well, we got the uh, cannon going down to help secure that wall probe is in place of a zealot in the gap. And uh, back at Invader's base, we have Zerglings popping out. We got a queen on the way. And uh, no, oh, we just have speed starting for Invader. Um, it looks like, uh, it seems like it's sportsmanship-like talk back and forth between the two players, I think. I thought he said it was out of meta. It's like, what? Wrong game. <laughs> it's out of the, met, the, the meta? Meta. 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 It's a constantly changing thing. What's meta? To answer his question. It's, it's, it is? Yeah. The meta is, it's the dynamic that changes without... Are you going all math right now? No. Oh. It's, Physics? No. Oh. Game. Oh. It's it's just the part of the game that changes without things actually changing. What? Do you know what I, you know, like there's there's things that changes with bound patches, yeah, new expansion stuff, but this meta is is the part of the game that changes without things changing. It's like you mean people getting bored and picking up new strategies? Kind of, or just trying out new things. All right, how about some zerglings? See, that's not new. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a Zerg pack outside. Zealot pops out to help block off that uh, that gap right there. And uh, for Dark Noob, uh, he's got Warp Gate on the way, but we really don't see anything special. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. That was not a good move. Well, you know, he's going to be able to kill a couple of them. Yeah, three Lings do make their way into the main. They're going to go straight for the Nexus, but I don't really get that. See, not a lot of damage should be done. Might lose it. maybe a Gas Probe. Um, or nothing. All right. Well, Robo is going down for Dark Here comes Noob. the Calvary. Oh, there you go. That's actually not that fun. Um, Calvary runs into the base. I just got really loud because I took my headphones off. There we go. What? 
The Zealot does fall. No, and it looks like they're going straight for the pylon. That is powering the, the would-be warped-in yep. Robo. This is a better idea than the Nexus. Definitely. Uh, they have a chance of killing it. Uh, you know, Stalker's now Stalker's out. out. Mothership Core is about to get out. Probes do start the fall finally with the attack on the mirror line. They actually might be able to get the pick off the Stalker because it doesn't have a lot of room to uh, micro now. But you know, one down, Stalker down, Mothership Core out at the other. Probes are pulled to help clean okay. up these lings. And uh, it does look like there's more on the way. Well, you know. Yeah. There are. All right, so we do have a, the Zerg packs are growing each wave, but we do have a Mothership Core out for Dark Noobs. Going to sit by the gate and try and help out. Uh, let's see, we have a Sentry on the way. Not a Zealot, but a Sentry. And uh, Warp Gate is almost finished, but here comes another stream of Lings. Right past the cannon, which is not doing too much. And they're going to go straight into the middle line and Omnom all the way. You know, now these guys can just run down here where the cannon is not really going to protect them that much. No. <laughs> that was very anticlimactic. You sounded really sad when you said that. Uh, the rest of the gates do warp in, but they are unfortunately powered by one pylon. And in the StarCraft land, that is called an artosis. And unfortunately, all those gateways are unpowered and unable to provide additional troops. You know, Photon Arbitrage did go off. Sentry not doing the best of job being a gatekeeper. Nah. Um... It's kind of like one of those gates where it's like, it's so short we can just like hop over it, but they still lock it or something. <laughs> it's like, like a hobbit gate. Yeah. Like if Bilbo Baggins came out and like put a lock on his gate and be yeah. like, um, I could, I could like push that over that'll, with my pinky. That'll totally stop Gandalf from getting in. Which, in Hobbit news, on Friday, uh, Martin Freeman, the guy who plays Bilbo Baggins, mm -hmm. finally finished uh, filming. For his his role as Bilbo in the yeah. Hobbit, the other day, which I, uh, why do I have to wait till next year to see the third part of the movie series? Well, cause goodness comes to those who wait, and the CGI artists need time. And I mean, look at look at Frodo. Look how long he had to wait. What? Laho, I think I'm dead. No, um, you're not. You just warped in a bunch of units. I don't... see what you're doing here, Dark Noob. I don't think he's a noob at all. Well, you know, he has perfect vision of what's going on in his opponent's base. He and he's getting the right units to combat it. Yeah, he's got Immortals on the way. He actually has attack upgrade level 1 about to pop out from the Forge. And, you know, right now the current meta is to go Immortal Sentry against Roaches. That is a very old strategy. I don't... Is that really the... Is that really the, the meta? Immortal Sentry all in? Can, can we just say the the flavor strategy of the, of the moment right now is... That... All right, well, I'd love to see a couple proxy pylons throw down from Tor Dark Noob as he starts to expand you know, out. You know, he's doing the right things, but I don't, I don't know if it'll be enough. For who? Invader? Dark. You know, more Immortals would definitely help out a ton. I mean, uh, From is... Invader, I want to see more creep spread. Well, you know, creeps overrated. It is. It is. It's definitely OP. Mm-hmm. All right, we have another expansion coming for Invader. And back at Tor Dark Noob, we have Armor about halfway finished. He's getting three more gates. Well, you know. When in doubt, gate up. Yep. Um, not, not, he needs the supply for the gates. He no. should throw down some pylons. Nope. He really should throw down those pylons. Nope. What do we shoot? Like, do right. see the blood? That they're ah, he out. got pretty far in, too. So he does know that Immortals are on the map. Wait, um, no, that's not a surprise. No. Nah. Uh, let's see, range level 1 upgrade, getting close to finishing for Invader. If we do have the Carapace level 1 upgrade going, looks like we have a bit of attack. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about Invader moving out so soon. I would have preferred to have at least gotten some more roaches out. Oh, it's really going to come down to these force fields. Uh, yeah, it looks like all the units are doing a conga line out of the base, so this might be a bit of a moment for Invader to move in and attack, but nope, Tor Dark Noob is all out. And looks like it is going to force the roaches and the lings back, uh, at least to their side of the base. You know, we're going to start be seeing Hydra soon. Uh, that'll be a good call. And uh, we also have an instant infestation pit. Um, Did your tongue just go numb? No. We have an infestation pit, so that could very much lead to my favorite unit, the Swarm Host. You hate the Swarm Host. Exactly. All right. Uh, a couple scouting lings going to easily get picked off by the Protoss Death Ball. Just one. And it looks like we have a Warp Prism on the way for Tor Dark Noob. Sorry, I'm so noob. It's not funny, dude. Seriously, it's not funny. Why well, he walled in. 
Nice. X Master. One Hydra bites the dust. Alright, here we go. It looks like a base is going to get taken out, yeah, but the. Now's roach really is when you really need those force fields. Yep. Roach, uh, force fields are decent. They do cut up the units, but most of the roaches are on the they, other side. They also do prevent the Hydras from getting in attack range. Oh, nice burrow to try and help them. It's kind of in vain because. Oh, the observer is over there. We do have that war prison over here. It looks like it picked up an immortal. Not not quite sure why it did that. And uh, it'd be nice if we actually got a warp in of reinforcements for Dark Noob. Except the Hydras are about to fall, and it looks like the roaches are gone too. The lecture damage is done by the broodlings popping out of the hatchery. But, you know, there's more sitting back here. There is, there is, there is. I uh, mean, Dark Noob's force, I would say, at least got cut in half. You know, Invader definitely should throw down at least a couple of spines. He does have extra drones now because of that base falling. Um, but, you know, I, just, I really or wish there would have been... To this base. I wish there was creep spread. There's, like, there's no creep spread. You're creep spread. I'm not creep spread. Take it back. I take it back. Thank you. All right, looks like uh, Torg Noob is moving in. Guardian Shield is thrown up by the remaining sentry. There are only two Immortals in the mix, but they're actually doing a pretty decent amount of damage. Remember that these also have an attack upgrade as well. Um, though the Roaches are 1-1. Yeah, now the Roaches should just fall back. I mean, they're going to be able to take off some more. Um, granted, the, the, got a good curve. the sentries are gone, so there's not going to be any more force fields. But it's still, you know, these Immortals are just able to sit Ooh. back here and attack. There is a little bit of a flank by the Zerglings. Would Zerglings do well against Immortals? They do, because uh, the Immortals can really only concentrate on one attacker at a time. Uh, we do have Warp in of troops coming from the Warp Prison that is going with them. And those two Immortals are still there, except that ah, one of them just died. Um, it, it definitely looks like uh, Dark New Meets should have pulled back a little bit and or gotten a little bit more reinforcement before he moved in. And we do have the GG well played from Tor Dark Noob, and he does indeed leave. What do you think? You look unsatisfied. Confused? Alright. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Please send your replay into superstarcraftbros at gmail.com. We need all levels, and uh, please send them in. Please. Please. Did we, did we say please? He's still mining. I know. Hit that uh, like button. Subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. Both well, faces. Leave a comment on how you think uh, the players did or should have done or maybe you're in disbelief as iron sparks is too and uh, once again please send in your replay yep the email address is down below in the description you can hit like subscribe favorite all of those buttons before you get down to it and hope you guys are having a good week we'll see you tomorrow gg